It was alright though. You when smell. I haven't done it. That's your own nose and face. No, it's smelling. Oh, it's smelling off. your own face and nose. Is that what you tell everyone? No, it's what I'm telling you. Because everyone you're in the room, it's your own <laughs> nose Look, and earlier face. On, earlier on, I, there was some flatulence for a moment. Some flatulence. Because I was worried about Great Hall Magistrates. Okay. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Mate, I got emotional. Check your nappy. <laughs> I don't even wear a nappy because I don't have one. I never needed a nappy. Oh, get naked! <laughs> Look. <that's> spring break! <laughs> spring break! Then <laughs> <laughs> you she slept on dead and decided to bury me. God knows I'm ready. It's all about the Decided to bury me, God knows I'm ready. <laughs> to do all the rejection she had. To pretend to be happy could only be idiocy. Fonzie? He, no, he's not backwards with a promotion, is he? What is he? So he's got a children's book that he's written? He's written it with his missus, because as he said when his last time he was on the show, he's dyslexic, so his missus does the oh, typing, he, he just stands around sticking his collar. Hey, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Fonzie! No, we'll just kept calling him Fonzie throughout it. That's alright, he doesn't mind that. Don't he? No. I thought he was bad manners. Am I right in assuming that Henry Winkler is on the telephone, the okay? Fonz. I believe he's here. Henry, are you there? I, I didn't I tell you that I was going to call again. Oh, Henry, but I've heard that so many times. <laughs> I've had my heart broken enough not to believe that. What's the name of your book, Henry? The, the book is called Hank Zipser, The World's Greatest Underachiever. Well, if you would like Matt Morgan to do commission a piece of art on my testicles, Matt Morgan <laughs> is prepared to, to, to draw. You know what? I'm merely going to say the Arndale Shopping Centre again in Manchester and hope that we move on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to track you down and take you out to dinner. You will not have to track me down because I will be in your front garden with my testicles stretched like a canvas waiting for you to return the favour. <laughs> you could do Guernica on my balls. I'm packing heat, baby! <laughs> what did they use? Did they use actual brushes or spray no, cans? No, you have to use a very tiny pen. Are you a very, tiny pen. It's like them people that write on, on a grain of rice. They can write your name. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> no, well, let a... me just say, uh, let me just say that th this is this is the most outrageous conversation I think I've ever had in my entire life. Come on, you spring break. <laughs> spring break. <laughs> spring break. <laughs> it's like you calling that fella racist, Stephen Graham. You, so focused on the racism. I, know, I was obsessed with it, wasn't I? What comes over me, do you think? Uh, spring break. I <laughs> 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 get all caught up in something. <laughs> Go all crackers. No, he was good, wasn't he? Yeah, I'll get him. No, he's a nice bloke, him. Yeah, he's good. Should we get him in here one day? Yes. Have a look so. at him. He's terrifying in that film. What? Absolutely in terrifying. He's just sort of... Like... <laughs> Alright, mate. Proper friendly, ain't he? You just, oh, yeah, when you're pretending to be a racist, do you go a little bit racist and start thinking, mmm, <laughs> you, can't really, you can't really carry that on with you, do you know what I mean? I'd get arrested and stuff. There was one day we went bowling, yeah. and I forgot, I left my tattoos on the back of my neck. Oh, no. So I had a swastika on the back of my neck, and we walked God. past this little Asian family, oh, no. and he just kept looking at me. Oh, I was thinking, dear. what's wrong? Why is everyone looking at me? Oh, and then God. one of the lads said, you still got the tattoo on the back of your neck? Oh, dear. So that was a bit frightening. Well, would you like to use this opportunity to apologise to <laughs> anyone if I caused any offence to anyone when I had that uh, tattoo on the back of my neck in the bowl and alley in Nottingham? Right, well, that's cleared that up. <laughs> well, we you weren't born at midnight. I was born. Don't try and get Your mum said it was like 12.07 or something. You went, at the same midnight in future, mother. <laughs> That's far cooler. <laughs> I've told you that we're building myths and legend here. Dionysus emerged from Zeus's thighs. <laughs> the women of the village went wild. They pulled the grapes from the vine. They tore the rabbits apart. Suddenly they left their husbands. Madness was in the streets. A new god out of the king. womb at 12.07. <laughs> no, no, midnight. Stung. <laughs> Trent MacDonald spoke. It's midnight, Russell. A brand has been born. <laughs> king, a new king, a new god king, freedom for all people. Join the revolution. Why, why would you keep throwing things off balconies? After all we've been through, we've stuck in front of balconies. Actually, that was one of the most like satisfying things ever. I threw cashew nuts from about the tenth floor, yeah. landed in Jack's mouth. That is clever. Well done. But don't Jack deserve the credit? No, not really. That's <laughs> about aim, not standing going, huh? <laughs> <laughs> <That's true. laughs> <laughs> he didn't even know I was throwing them. <laughs> <laughs> Try to catch raindrops. Poor <laughs> <laughs> son. Oh, raindrops is like lemonade for free. Spray break. 
take a look at me. If that don't fill you with religious pride, I don't know what oh, will. You make me feel queasy. Look <laughs> at that nipple. Look at your toes, though. They're gorgeous. They're not. They're, they're like, evolved. They're like little what's it? Little duck's feet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, little duck's feet. Oh. That's a, look at my lovely yeah. high arch. Where are you from? The Shire. <laughs> <laughs> I got beautiful little feet, little no. tootsies. The birds go crazy for them. He's got they're high arches. Them. Yeah, of course, the high arches. arches. That's what people like is a high arch, no, you like got the funny looking feet. They're not funny, mate. Birds love them. <laughs> I love spring break, don't you? <laughs> Favourite time of year. Favourite time of year. So, is there anything else you want to mention or do? No. Do you think we've done enough for our videocast to justify it? We've done quite a bit, haven't we? We've done a lot of work. We're keeping out how it's going to end, though. <laughs> spring break! Uh, when, when this happens, can we freeze frame on it? And then just put up some text saying these two men are now dead. <laughs> <laughs> the two, everyone involved in this video has since been killed. <laughs> Ready? One, two, three. Spring break! BBC Radio 2. Russell Brand.